Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen what is chemical reaction and had also performed two activities which showed change in state, change in temperature and also evolution of gas. So in this video, we are going to learn how to write these chemical reactions in the form of equations. Now a common person would simply say that magnesium was burnt with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. But we are students of science and we have to learn many chemical reactions. So, we need a shorthand representation. Now, there are two ways that we can write these chemical reactions in the form of equations. So, the first form is word form and the second form is symbol equation. So, let's discuss these types of equation one by one. Now, the first form is the word form. Now, here we have performed the activity of magnesium burning with oxygen to give magnesium oxide. So, we will simply write that magnesium plus oxygen gave magnesium oxide. Now these are all written in word forms. We can say that a word equation consists of the reactants with a plus sign on the left hand side and the products on the right hand side with a plus sign. Now the arrow is pointing towards the product which shows that the reaction is going from the reactant direction to the product. So, we can read this equation as magnesium reacting with oxygen to give magnesium oxide or magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Now, let's go on to the second type of equation which is chemical equation. Now, this chemical equation uses your concept of 9th class in which we have learned the symbols of different elements. Now, let's again take the same example of magnesium reacting with oxygen to give magnesium oxide. Now here what we have to do is substitute the words with the symbol. So what we will do is substituting magnesium with Mg which is its symbol, oxygen with O2 and MgO which is magnesium oxide. We have learned all these symbols in our 9th class. It is in the similar way that the reactants are on the left hand side with the plus sign, the arrow is pointing in the direction of reaction and the products are on the right hand side with the plus sign. So you see we have seen the two types of equation which is the word equation and the chemical equation. Now let's again recall a concept of 9th class. We have learned the counting of number of atoms and molecules of an element. Like when we say oxygen which has a symbol of O2, it means it has two atoms of oxygen. But when we say 2mg, it means two molecules of magnesium. So we are going to use this concept in balancing the equation. Now these equations shows that the number of atoms should be equal on both the sides. If it is not like that, then the mass becomes unequal on both the sides. And this type of equation in which the number of atoms of an element are not equal on both the sides are called as skeletal equation. But why it is so important to balance these chemical equations? So the answer again lies in the concept of 9th class, which we have learned. So the concept was the law of conservation of mass, which says mass can neither be created nor be destroyed, which means the mass of the reactants on the left hand side should be equal to the mass on the right hand side. So this makes it important and necessary for us to balance these chemical equations. So we will be learning to balance these equations now. So the first equation which we are going to see is magnesium reacting with oxygen to give magnesium oxide. Now the most simple way to balance this chemical equation is to draw a table. Now this table has three columns. The first column has elements. The second column has number of atoms of reactants. And the third column has the number of atoms in products. So now let's balance this equation. Now for this, we have to write the number of atoms of each element on both the sides. So on the left hand side, we have number of atoms of magnesium as 1 and of oxygen we have 2. On the right hand side, which is the product side, we see that the number of atoms of magnesium is 1 and of oxygen is also 1. So we will start balance this equation with the atom having the maximum number of atoms. So let's do it. We know that the number of atoms of magnesium are 1 on both the sides. And of oxygen we can see on the left hand side it is having 2 atoms and on the right hand side it is having only 1. 
So we will balance this equation by multiplying 2 on the product side. So we will be putting 2 in front of MgO. So now we have the number of magnesium atoms on the right hand side as 2 and oxygen also as 2. So you can see that the oxygen is balanced as the number of atoms on both the sides is 2. But now you can see that there are 2 atoms of magnesium on the right hand side. So we are going to multiply 2 on the left hand side so as to balance the magnesium atoms on both sides. We will also put 2 in front of magnesium. Now you can see that there are 2 magnesium atoms on the left hand side and in similar way on the right hand side. You can also see that the number of atoms of oxygen on the left hand side is 2 and on the right hand side is 2. So we can say that the number of atoms of elements on both the side that is left hand side and right hand side are equal and hence the equation is balanced. So our final equation becomes 2 magnesium plus oxygen gives 2 MgO which is magnesium oxide. We will be seeing more of these examples in our next video.